Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at this stainless steel butt hinge from Marlboro. It's going to be made in the USA and be great for your commercial or residential applications for things like cabinets, doors, or various panels around a trailer or camper, whatever you may need it for. This I think is going to do you really well. Just keep in mind that for most applications you're probably going to need more than one hinge. This one only comes in a kit of one, so just pick up however many you think you're going to need for your project. Now, like we said, this is going to be made of stainless steel, so that's going to give it superior resistance to rust and corrosion over time, especially if you're going to be using this somewhere where it's outside or maybe just exposed, exposed to moisture and the elements. It's going to have a 2B mill finished, which gives the metal a slight shine. Now it's not anything like a mirror finish where it's really reflective, but it's also not just bare, dull metal. It does have a little bit of shine to it, which helps it look a little bit nicer in my opinion. You are going to get 270 degrees of rotation, so we can kind of close it like that. And it'll open all the way around right here where it locks out. So if you have it on your door or cabinet or something, you can think that this is going to be your closed position and then you open your door up this way. It can come all the way around right there to fully open and even back a little bit if you do need some sort of different angle for your door. So I think this will work out really well for most applications. Now it does have four holes on each side of the hinge here. These are going to be quarter inch in diameter and they're going to be countersunk. So you're going to want to find hardware that will fit that design there. And that'll be really nice because you'll end up with a flat finish here on the top. Those countersunk holes will let the screws or bolts sit down nice and flush with the metal here. So that should eliminate any sort of clearance issues when you've got the hinge open or closed like this. Now, in addition to that quarter inch diameter for the holes, you're also going to have a quarter inch diameter for the pin right here. And then as far as other dimensions go, when the hinge is laying flat like this, let me grab my measuring stick here. It's going to be four inches by four inches. So four inches from side to side right here. And then if I turn it to the side right here, we're gonna get four inches from side to side right there. So that's the size you're working with when it's in its unfolded flat state here. Now, that measurement is symmetrical, so it's two inches from the center of the pin right here to either end. So just keep that in mind when you've got it in this position like that. Each knuckle here on the pin is going to be an inch wide. You've got three of those there, and then a half inch wide on these knuckle ends. And that'll do it for a look at this stainless steel butt hinge.